Well, <laughs> Roxanne is touring the UK in the musical version of The Wedding Singer next year. And it came absolutely at the right time for you, this job, oh, didn't it? Honestly, you couldn't have imagined it. I was sat at home for a year, Lorraine. And my mum was like, the phone will ring, the phone will ring. I was like, when, mum, when's it going <laughs> to ring? And then suddenly, three jobs came at once. Wow. You know, a movie, Habit, which is out next year, um, The Wedding Singer, and then Some Girls, the play that I'm rehearsing at the moment. And it all came at once, wow. kind of like buses on men. I know, exactly. But also, yeah. hadn't you had, unfortunately, an end of a relationship? So this was a great... <sighs> We you couldn't write it. <laughs> My life, it, it's comedy gold. I was sat. Okay, so basically, I'm really unlucky in love, oh. and I went a year without work, and then I met this guy, and I was set up on a date, and I was like, I'm sick of going out with these aspiring wannabe younger men, and I thought, right, okay, he's 42, he sounds good, mm -hmm. and then he told me he couldn't pay for dinner because he spent all his money on social media followers. Okay. Yeah, and then he dumped me. In Costa, Lorraine. Not Costa Rica, Costa Coffee. Ooh. And then my agent rang and said, I've got the wedding singer. So in, in the space of an hour, I'd cried into a vanilla latte, but then got the role of a lifetime. <laughs> and my Wee! agent was like, are you all right? I was like, oh! Oh, God, I said, are you sure? Are you really? I'm positive. I've got it. And then he was history anyway. Fantastic. So the wedding singer saved me from heartbreak. Uh, absolutely. And right now, as you said, you're doing some girls. Oh, yeah. So you're rehearsing right now. Like, right now. Like, yeah. as soon as I leave you, I'm going back to rehearsals. So tell me about some girls. What's it all about? So basically, it's about a man's journey, um, emotionally and physically, across right. America. He visits his four ex-girlfriends before he gets married. Mm. Like, who would do that? No, who would? No, but amazing story. I know. But, and it also, it looks at the conflict and closure and all the regret and unfinished business that goes into exes. I mean, I, I would not meet an ex in a hotel room. Would you? No, no. absolutely this guy not. Does, and I play one of the ex-girlfriends. Right. And, and so each of us, it's a fantastic cast. Um, there's four of us actresses that play a different Ex, you know, ex right. flame, and someone's just fallen over. In your that, studio. No, they're that fine. No, they're all right. No, they're grand. <laughs> Don't worry about it. They'll pick themselves up. It'll be okay. <laughs> but we uh, we open next Thursday at Finsbury Park at Park Great. Theatre, and we run for a month. And it's such an incredibly kind of dark comedy hit kind of something emotionally really, charged. Yeah, you yeah, really get your teeth into it, every, can you? Everybody that comes to see this will identify and relate to one chapter right. of this ex mm. kind of relationship. That so makes um, it's, perfect yeah, sense. It's so really awkward. Once well. you do that, you've got to get right into the wedding singer, yeah? So yeah, well, that... yeah. Well, I've just, I've actually just come off finishing a movie, a British film called Habit. I wrapped you the night before. You really busy. You couldn't <laughs> write it. I literally, I didn't think I was going to work again. It was, and no, not many people talk about the out of work side of it, and people should because it, it'll give hope to people. People that, that are sat at home thinking, when's the phone going to Do you know what, though? Isn't it something mad? Like, but 90% of actors yeah. are resting, as they call yeah. it, which basically means you're not working. Well, I wasn't bloody resting. I was pacing up and down my mum's living room oh. thinking, is this it? Gosh. Am I going to... I mean, it was really bad. I was so you, you finished the movie. When's that going to be out? The um, habit is... It's oh, so good. It's, I can't wait for people to see this. It's, um, it's going to be out next year. Right. It's like a British thriller. It's set in Manchester. Um, it's based on a novel by Stephen McGee. Oh, and it was... Um, it's very art house, very mm. cool and gritty. But it's three really different oh. things that you're doing, isn't it? Could I don't know whether different. I'm coming or going, Lorraine. It's good. I'm, I'm, playing, I'm playing a prostitute in Habit. I mean, she's, I mean, she's more than just a prostitute. It's right. set in a brothel called Cloud. Nine. Okay. Um, and I've gone from that to playing this this cool kind of Chicago born um, ex flame. She's really bohemian, and this is in some girls. And then yeah. from that, sorry, I've had a Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm sorry. I can just picture the headlines. I can hear myself going. Nah, 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 nah. I love when people come and talk to me. I'm aware that I've got three projects and this may not happen again for another ten years. No, so. it won't. I'll but tell yeah, you what, you're, on you're on a roll. You're on a roll. Lorraine, I love role. seeing you. <laughs> but I've, yeah, I've gone from one like a horror film to a play to then we start the wedding singer next yeah. February. We've got an all-star cast. It's We've got Ray good. Quinn. Obviously, the girls will love seeing him. Cassie Compton, Ruth Maddock, John Robbins. <laughs> Basically, check it out on the website. It sounds brilliant, actually. Oh, brilliant. It sounds really. <laughs> and relax. <sighs> Relax, then there we yeah. are. But it does show you there is life after Emmerdale. Oh, I mean, it was yeah. a long time ago that you were on that. Oh, it, it doesn't, it doesn't time, feel though. like that that long ago. It's crazy. Oh, well, I looked in the mirror the other day and I thought, yeah, I've, um, I've got you're marinated. A child. <laughs> you're I'm a, a child. woman now. A mere oh, baby. Oh, I can't even baby. look at that. No, that was my first it's... episode. Oh, <laughs> it was so... Luke. I mean, you yeah. haven't changed a bit. Oh, I so have. I'm starting to see lines around my face. But you know what someone told me last year when I was out of work? They said, oh, maybe you should get some Botox and some work done. Started making me 
me feel like don't I was do a that. problem, I was like, no. Don't do it, love. No. Don't do it. Robert De Niro hasn't. No, he hasn't. And now there's Meryl Streep. And you exactly. have to be, if you're an actress, you have to... Expression. Thank you. And they're your storylines anyway. Do your storylines. I right. love it. Roxanne, you're a joy. <laughs> an absolute joy. I think I need to lay down. No, you're Sorry, fine. Guys. No, you're fine. I wish we could bottle the energy. Um, Some Girls <laughs> is coming up. Yes. We'll see you in The Wedding Singer and the movie is out really soon too. Yes, next we'll year. Put it all Come on and see website. us at Finsbury Park, Park Theatre, Some Girls. It's a good, really Excellent. good play. Thank you, Angel. Thanks. Thank you so much. <laughs> You've cheered me up, you have. Oh, thanks, <laughs>